My first impression of coming here and seeing the students adapt is that I really like the fact that it's actually a quite relaxed environment and that all the students are very open and free with the designs and the concepts that they have. I really saw a lot of students that were well prepared. Um, I think some of the students had a really strong uh, idea and execution. There was also a lot of thought behind you know, every creation, I see a lot of research going into it, so that's really uh, what stands out to me. In many ways, we are like the educational arm of industry. We are not a technical college. We don't just give people technical skills, but we help our students to push the boundaries further, challenge certain conventions in industry, and sometimes ask uncomfortable questions. You know, when I'm looking for something in a recent graduate, it's not necessarily just about the technical skill set. If, you know, they're a great sketcher, they can have, you know, really amazing designs, but it's also just about what else they can bring to the table in terms of their concept development and what other things they can pull from outside sources. Because I think in today's market, it's not necessarily just about, you know, making beautiful pieces anymore. Unlike many other schools, our Bachelor of Design program lasts for five years. And out of those five years, our students spend five semesters in industry, working for up to five different companies. And this is what really makes them special. I worked at a company where we absolutely relied on the students and the internship, and it was always very comforting to know that we could always go to the University of Cincinnati because that, that was part of their education. So I was lucky enough to fall into the industry that I wanted to go into very early on and grow from there. Uh, so that was really cool to be able to experience different companies, see how they operate differently, um, and then like pick up their philosophies along the way and also um, finding leaders that I look up to a lot. And also it gives them a reality check of what it is. What is the industry and what you have to do and you don't spend a lot of time sketching, you spend a lot of time meeting and debating a color and did it sell or not, or doing research and the fit and balancing a line in terms of the merchandising. And I think that's the real world. That's when you start to see the other possibilities, not just design, you know, there's product development, there's you know, marketing, there's PR, like there's so much in the world of fashion that you wouldn't know and you wouldn't really know what you'd be into until you're in there really working it through. I was, I came into the program aimless. I was in the exploratory studies my freshman year before I transferred into fashion. And so by going on co-op, I, I was able to really dive deep into different genres and able to find out my niche and like where I wanted to be in the industry post-graduation. Because you know, sometimes you're unsure and you're not sure if this is the path you're supposed to go down. But I stuck with it and I ended up going uh, to my first co-op. And that's when I realized that this is what I want to do. This is like, being in the industry, like actually getting your hands dirty and seeing like exactly what your life could be is was like amazing and that's when I knew like that fashion was for me and from then on I've just absolutely loved being in the program. I actually co-opted at Abercrombie and Fitch twice and I have an offer from them that I've accepted. Uh, so I will be joining Nike post-grad with um, the running apparel team. I'm starting at Abercrombie and Fitch as a full-time designer. So I was there at my last co-op. I like know the culture, I'm experienced with them. The co-op program has definitely really helped me get to that point of knowing how the rest of the world works outside of school.